you know what I fancy? I fancy a nice home cooked leek and bacon quiche. I don't know about you. This is something that's really easy to cook, really easy to make, and I think sometimes people get scared and don't want to. Let me show you how. So yeah, I found some leeks and onions in the fridge. So we just chop them up and get them ready. So the onion, thinly sliced in a cold pan onto a really low heat, one or two maximum, and let it cook. That onion took about an hour, an hour and a half to cook down. And then it starts cooking in its own juices. That's all you need if you do it really slowly and just stir it now and then. Keep an eye on it because you don't want it to catch. And what happens is all those natural juices go get absorbed back into the onion and just intensify the flavor. It's worth it. As I said, it takes 45 minutes to an hour, but I promise you with patience, it's worth it. Patience, patience, patience with the onions. But I promise you, it'll blow your mind. So yeah, we found some smoked bacon, a pack of smoked bacon. So I just chop that up into pieces, take a bit of the fat off, um, and then we start frying that off in a pan. And when that's cooked off, um, when it's cooked, um, we add the leeks, and we cook the leeks right down. They've got to make sure that they're really soft and tender. And give it a good old season, but not too much salt, because the bacon's quite salty. I found some spinach, so I just chuck that in as well. Now with the pastry, Roll out your shortcrust pastry and uh, line your, your tin. I just use some olive oil. Make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. And then with the rolling pin, roll it up and um, lift it up and place it over your tin. And I just pulled off a piece of dough to get right into the corners because sometimes when you use your fingers, it breaks through the dough. So yeah. And then grab some grease proof paper. I, I run it up so it's easier to get into the corners when you add your, your baking beans or, or whatever you use. I just keep rice. I use some rice that I've had for a long time. and just keep reusing that and just push that all into the corners. Um, so we're going to bake it blind in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes on about 170. Now, six eggs to a pint. Uh, so I've got six eggs, season it up, um, some dried herbs because we didn't have any fresh in the fridge and I'm using milk not cream because we didn't have any cream so probably half a pint I used. Now when it's been in for 20 or so minutes take the baking beans out and then place it back in the oven for another five or ten minutes just to keep cooking the base because the base won't be cooked just yet. And while I was waiting I just grated some cheese as you can see the base is cooked those onions i was talking about there they are put them in with the rest of your filling pour in your egg and milk mix um, cheese on the top back in the oven till it's cooked another 10 or 15 minutes maybe longer just give it a wiggle and see if it's firm and there you go enjoy it thank you so much for watching if you want to subscribe if you enjoyed it that would be great there's going to be another video appearing on the screen which i would recommend watching if you enjoyed this one it's fun, it's a cheap meal, and while we're in lockdown, it's probably something you'll have in your fridge.